Hi, welcome back to another very wonderful video at Tutorial Points. Today we discuss a very essential feature in Photoshop. This feature is what makes Adobe Photoshop Photoshop. So we discuss today Photoshop layers. So guys, let's begin. So when you're dealing with an image, uh, whatever changes you make, gonna, you know, gonna make them and you save that image, so these changes are made forever. But in Photoshop gives you an amazing flexibility. You could do whatever changes you want, not on the sheet, not on an image, but on a transparent sheet of image. So whatever changes you made are on a transparent sheet. And later, if you like the changes, you can keep them. If you don't like the changes, just delete them and go forward. So this feature makes Photoshop very powerful as it is. So let's dive in and see what are layers, how do we create layers, and what happens after. Let's learn, understand, and enjoy Photoshop layers. So in Photoshop, we have this layer panel here, and layer panels is the, the thing in Photoshop. There is nothing more important or essential in Photoshop than the layers. So in Photoshop, all the images that we work on are basically nothing but sheets of layer. So before I get started, just I'm just assuming that I'm working on this image without the layers. So I take my pen, pencil tool and I just draw a heart hair, a small heart hair and a smaller hair. I'm just doing a rough thing, not a very good thing, just tell, explaining you. So, And I do a control S and I save it. So, Or maybe I go here and I just save it. So this is my image and I don't like it. Let me go back, use this image again. I go to open, I click this. I just ruined that image. Can you see? Let me close it. Let me go back. I open it. I do this. Oh gosh, I just ruined my image because I did not use layers. So let me use layers and see how will this work. So, but then if I go back, I do not even have a copy of this. And that's how I wish I had done it with layers. So now I'm using the duplicate copy, which I had kept by doing control O and I will use that to open a file. I go here and I'm going to use the copy that I had kept. But actually, if you see here, I have actually ruined my copy. So luckily I had planned it earlier and I have another copy. So this is what, and I'm going to work the same, you know, I'm going to edit this picture using layers. So if I want to add another layer, I go to layer and I'm going to create, have my new layer and I'm going to click new. Okay. And do you don't see anything, but can you see here in the layer panel, I have another image just on top of that. And I'm going to take my brush this time and I'm going to take a pinkish brush all right or maybe a light pink and I'm gonna take my brush so you go here and in my brush we just make like this with the way I like it I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna grab the brush tool and I'm gonna start painting here so just so I'm just painting over things and I'm gonna create an effect with this I'm just gonna show you in a while so I basically I'm gonna paint a little bit here and I'm gonna change the blending monog. This is too early for you to understand. I'm just showing you what effects I can get using layers. So I'm going to go and have a soft light. So it's basically increase the pinkish tone here. I'm going to do it here as well. So it increases the pink in my picture. So let me show you this picture without this effect. So I'm just going to remove it. So this shade becomes the pink and it becomes lighter. So if I do not now, let me just, I don't like the color of the lip. I wish it was darker. So I'm going to go and select this red and we'll decrease the size of my brush. Okay, we're going to learn all of these once we start doing these brushes. So I'm just going to paint it, you know, maybe a darker pink on the lipstick. So, okay, this is not the best way of doing it, but I'm doing it just to show you. So I have darkened the lipstick. 
and I've darkened the shade. And somehow I still believe my earlier picture was better. So rather than ruining my picture, I will just go ahead and delete that layer. So I bring it here, okay, and delete. So I have my original picture. So this is how powerful layers are. You can add as many layers as you want by Control Shift N or Command Shift N and do whatever. I can go ahead and just write anything I want. I can go like I've made a heart and this time I can save it. I saved it and I can give it a name on my desktop. I save it. Now I have saved it but even later I can come back to my image. I don't like this and still I did not ruin my picture. So layers give you this flexibility of making as many changes, pasting things over another. If I want you know that I want some other image here, I can go ahead, control A, control C, bring back and just do a copy and maybe I'm looking at having these two images you know maybe it's a portfolio and obviously m much better things can be done with this but then I can have this as well so I can post two pictures just next to each other and in future if I don't like this I can hide a layer or just sim simply delete it I can also make them look as in a one picture so let me just show you but then obviously we're gonna do these F later so I'm gonna quickly show you that you know we can just make them look like this is a very rough thing I'm doing but then this is how powerful Photoshop players are we can do anything we want and if we do not like it we can just remove it so I've kind of messed up so I can just go back and delete it and I'll just get my layer back so this is how powerful Photoshop players are and in the following tutorials when we start using it much more you will understand it in a much better way. Hope this was clear. Just to reiterate, Photoshop players are like sheets of images one over the another and you can work on layers, you can delete these layers, you can duplicate layers and each element of the image is created on a separate sheet stacked on one another. That's it for now. Stay tuned.